NET INVESTIGATES HAS REPORTED ON WIDESPREAD CORRUPTION AND PROBLEMS WITHIN THE FLORIDA DEPARTMENT OF CORRECTIONS FOR MONTHS. AND NOW FINALLY SOME CHANGES MAY BE COMING. THE NEW HEAD OF THE DEPARTMENT IS NOW PLEADING FOR HELP FROM LAWMAKERS. AS INVESTIGATIVE REPORTER CHRISTOPHER HEATH DISCOVERED AFTER YEARS OF NEGLECT, THOSE CHANGES WILL NOT BE EASY. Hard on crime is hard on taxpayers. Florida's Department of Corrections budget came in at $2.4 billion last year. Of that, $61 million was spent on overtime for officers. Understaffed, overworked, and housed in crumbling facilities, Florida's prisons are at a breaking point. There is cause for serious concern. On the job since the first of the year, Mark Inch is the Secretary of Corrections. Our challenges have intensified in severity over the past seven years. Part of those challenges, low pay for officers, high turnover, and a series of high-profile incidents involving smuggled contraband and the abuse of inmates. This culture of corruption is really a cancer on our state prison system. State Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith recently visited Lowell Correctional Facility north of Ocala. Absolutely. Uh, abuse, uh, physical, sexual, emotional abuse in our state prisons increases recidivism, which at the end of the day is going to cost taxpayers even more. Smith and other lawmakers will be asked in 2020 to find $89 million to increase staffing at Florida's prisons, allowing the department to move towards full employment and have the flexibility to remove bad officers. Yeah, I have inmates tell me, look, it's easier to get drugs on the inside of prison sometimes than it is on the outside. On a recent episode of my podcast, Battleground Florida, Republican Senator Jeff Brandeis echoed the concerns. We have a responsibility to make sure those facilities are safe and secure. The $89 million is just to address staffing. To cut down on recidivism, the state will have to invest in education and job training, thanks to keep inmates out of prison going forward. Reporting from Orlando, Christopher Heath, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.